Hello everyone, this is a video about Bob Chief Editor. Today I will share some advanced operations of find control. You can find the controls that you need more accurately through these advanced operations. As you can see, I have made some preparations. I added a module, two find control actions, and one get image action. Today I take our white hat box official site as an example. I also added two variables. The first one is a control variable to store the controls find control will find. The second one is a string variable as the path for get image. In addition, in variable viewer, we can view string, double, and the table variable. And here we can also modify the value. But in variable viewer, we cannot view control variable. If you want to edit or do other operations on the control variable, you need to finish this in variable manager. Click find control to view its action settings. For parent control, what is a parent control? From the HTML code structure, parent control is a parent node. If I specify a parent node, I will find the element in all the child nodes under this parent node. We can find the element within the parent node but cannot find those elements outside the parent node. So when will we use parent control? I will use it when I find a control but there are other same controls on this page. For example, the buttons of add a friend on Facebook in my last video, their attribute and attribute values are exactly the same. If I want to add a specified friend, I can choose an element that contains the button, save it to a variable as a parent control of the second find control, and then find that control. I would love to give you an example of parent control. Now I will name the first find control. I will use the first control to find a control and then save it to a control variable as a parent control. I select a control and you can regard the control as an area. Now I disable new search algorithm and try to find HTML item. I found four items. I once mentioned that in my last video, there are a few ways to find the control we need. The first one is to enable new search algorithm. The second is to find through item index. The third one is to find by adding advanced seek conditions to the condition list. Now I have a try. Yes, we can still find it. Now I save it to the control variable that I created. Now I try to run it. Run it successfully. Now I move to the action settings of get image. Choose the control variable saved just now. Now choose the string variable as the path for saving. Click save. Now run it successfully. Now copy the path in variable viewer. And then find it in my computer. And have a look. We find this control. Now I will use this area, this control as the parent control of the second find control action. 
Here I choose the control variable saved just now. And then I select a control in parent control. We also find it. Now we test if we can find the control outside the parent control. I select this control and try to find the item. I found a confirming control within parent control. But this one is not what I want. Now we test another control. Try to find the item. Can't find. Now test another one. Either because it's outside parent control. That is how parent control works. Now maybe you are confused when you can use parent control. Later I will explain it to you combining a concrete situation when I talk about select level. Next, I will talk about match type in condition list. When find control is finding a control, it will compare the values of these attributes on pages with values in condition list. Conditions for matching these two groups of values are in match type column. They can be equal to each other, contained or not. You can choose them based on your needs. The next part is using variable in condition list. But before that, I would love to share something more about tag. Select a control first. We can view its location here in attributes and document. Here IMG means the tag of the control as selected. Now we try another control. Now you can see the tag div. That's the tag of the control I selected. Now I give you an example to clarify how to add variables to your condition list. First, I need to add a string variable. Now we select a control. No parent control. Here we can see it's an image tag control. Its parent control is an A tag control. Now we add its attribute class to the condition list. The tag is different. Now I change image to A. Now disable new search algorithm and click find HTML item. Here we found 27 items. Now we try to find the items through the index. We pay attention to the difference between the controls in attributes and document column. I take the first and the second control as an example. For the first index, pay attention to its feed, class, and title. 
For the second index, you will notice that the difference between the first and the second index lies in their feed and title. Here I choose the attribute title, match type, contained, and enter the title. Click to find the item. I found one item. Now I'm going to use a variable. Copy it first. I used the variable I created just now. Now paste it here in variable viewer. Now try to find. We find it. But if I want to change it into Fussbox Miller, try to find it again. Now you can see I could find the web control I need by changing the value of the variable. The next part is select level. The operation of select level is similar to that of parent control. By using it, you can find a parent HTML element first, then find other HTML elements under the parent HTML element. Here is an example of its operations. If I need the value of the topic, we can try to find the control first. I choose the control that includes the value of topic control I need. We can see it is in a div tag control but without any attribute conditions. Now I choose the value. It's in a span tag without any attributes either. They have no corresponding attributes. But we have two ways to get the value of topic. The first one is to choose a control with attributes, and it also includes the value of the control I need. And then save the control to a control variable as the parent control of the other find control. The other one is to use select level. This function is similar to the parent control selection function on the top of the settings. Now I'm going to get the value of topic in traffic bot pro control. Now we select a control. Click HTML item. We found one item. Now we choose the second level. Now all the conditions are disappeared. Now you can choose new conditions inside the traffic bot pro control. Now I select this control. Here you can see this control doesn't have any attribute, but we can choose the control that already included it. If you cannot exactly choose the conditions by clicking your mouse, you can manually enter the conditions here. I enter the attribute class and click find html item again still found one item i continue to select the third level you can see it has no attribute but it's a span tag control you can also see the span tag here. The value of the control I need is variable, so delete it and find it through the tag. I found four items and the zero index is what I need. Now I save it to a control variable.
try to run it successfully. Now we try to run get image successfully also. Now we copy the path and then find it in my computer. I have successfully saved the control to variable and also save it in my computer in the form of image through select level function. If the control you need doesn't have any attribute or its attribute is similar to that of other controls, you can find that control by using select level function. You can also find the control by using parent control. The difference is that using select level, you could find the control with one find control action. But you need more find control actions if you use parent control. That is to say, you can choose one between the two. That's all, thank you.